Show Raid Channel Legends. Welcome to the video. Glad to have you all here with me today. What could be better? Talking some raid, sending some love, some positive vibes your way, especially, hey, if you need them out there today. Uh, I like to, in life, I like to side with the underdog. I like to play devil's advocate. I like to be a little cynical at times, right? So that's definitely going to pertain to today's video, because in today's video, I am going to try to, no, scratch that. I'm going to convince you that one of the worst legendaries in the game in Gamoran is actually really good. I'm too strong! I'm too motivated! Yes, I believe it. I truly believe it. Last night in bed where I think of all my best video ideas. Yeah, 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 he's right. You know, how to rank the champions for the 500th time here on the channel. I, I got to thinking, what legendary can I really go to bat for right now? What legendary out there is just really good but like better than a sleeper, like like legit good that no one's really truly discovered their potential. And then I landed on a few, I tried a few, right? Tried a few, uh, it felt kind of square peg, uh, round hole, you know? Until I got to good old Gamoran. Now I've tried to mess around with Gamoran before, right? I even have a guide out on Gamoran. But when you think about the meta right now, first of all, this guy, he can be very useful in PvE. We'll talk a little bit about that. But I think specifically in the arena right now, this guy is insane, right? So we'll talk about both use cases and I'll showcase him in the arena, right? So what are we looking, what are we dealing with right now in Raid a lot? We got mythical champions, so we need block active skills. We got a lot of revivers, so we need block revive. There's not a lot of champions that have it, but block revive, right? Uh, we need revivers. Yeah, he's got that too, right? There's a lot of buffs in the meta. He's got buff steal and he's got buff spread. Wow, Cameron actually has a pretty nifty kit when you think about it. Uh, let's take a look. See a seal scroll attacks one enemy two times. Each hit is a 50% chance. Well, you guys know each hit abilities on a two hit with 50% chance is pty dang dependable. At a 50% 50, uh, 50 clip with the sniper mastery, it does work on this obviously as well. 55% on each hit. Uh, you know, you're more, more often than not, you're gonna land yourself a block active skills off this A1, which can neutralize every champion, but specifically stop uh, mythicals from uh, transferring or metamorphing or whatever to their, uh, to their second form. Thief of Blood attacks all enemies, stealing a random buff from each enemy after stealing. Gets the buff spread, taking it from a random, or taking it from this champion, excuse me, placing it on all allies. The cool thing about this is he can steal Stone Skin as well off of this ability. Obviously, Stone Skin ever present in the meta the last couple years. Dread Invocation, I won't do it to you. I won't read the whole thing, but it's a four turn cooldown. Basically, if you target a dead enemy, you can place a block revive on them like retroactively. I especially love this against Sun Wukong, right? He'll just stop coming back. All it's it's a really unique ability. Like I don't think any champion, I don't think, I know, no champion in the game has target someone who's already dead and block their revive, right? Really useful too against Marichka. This meta is so Marichka heavy. Marichka and Taurus is still a thing. Don't let anybody tell you otherwise, but Marichka is so popular with Comedus and with bombs in the meta as well. She's on like every team, right? Uh, especially the higher that you get in the arena. You can get around Marichka by denying the block reviving on the kill Taurus or whomever else, right? You also get this AOE attack, uh, ignoring 100% uh, defense and shield and, but it can't be critical. And frankly, let me just ruin it for you. <laughs> it does no damage, right? So one thing you can't get out of Gamoran is damage, which does suck. I'm not gonna lie to you guys because he's like that perfect utility champion on your team, but it'd be nice to have some damage, even a little bit out of that utility champion too. So you're really sacrificing a slot on your arena team to a champion that can't do any damage really, right? So you should know that going in. He's all out control and disrupt and weird stuff, right? You can, if there's nobody dead, you can true fear for two turns and heal all allies. The true fear cannot be resisted if the target is a boss or a minion. The healing is 20% of this champion's max HP rather than their HP. True fear cannot be resisted against anybody. So a two turn true fear that can't be resisted is pretty good as well. But friends don't lie. I won't do it to you. I won't read the whole thing. 
the passive soul charge revives a random ally with 30 percent 30 per, uh, hp and turn meter uh each time an enemy is killed but it won't do it if they're killed by poison burn or bomb debuffs or from reflect damage buffs uh mainly it's a bummer with hp burn uh sulfurian and gizmac very popular right now yeah sulfurian is actually really popular recently in the arena and bomb we already mentioned uh, uh nishak and Comitus and all the bomb champions are actually seeing some time so not 100 percent effective but still you know eight deaths out of ten are still going to be from a regular damage taken right so he's reviving and he's fast 109 base speed the rest of the base stats are kind of met all right, let me show you how I have him built, and let's just go into the arena. I'm sick of talking about this champion. Let's see the champion, Ash. So, Gamoran, I should say, too, that we haven't touched a lot on PvE. Uh, he's, like, this is a great ability, right? Stealing all, uh, stealing buffs from, and then buff spreading as well on a three-turn cooldown. It's a pretty dang cool ability. He has all the control aspects in PvE as well, so you can definitely get utility out of him, even as a backup reviver. And obviously, killing enemies in PvE content, especially waves or bosses' minions, is going to happen a lot more frequently. So the soul charge passive, I would argue, there's more utility there than even in the arena, or at least equal utility, right? So really, uh, really solid. I do have him plus one empowered, but I don't have any blessings on this dude because I have no uh, awakening on him, unfortunately. The masteries we went with here is, it, it, to me, when building this guy in terms of masteries, it's really going to depend on the gear that you have available. Are you going for those juicy kind of end game sets, uh, or do you have the luxury of going for a little bit of damage with War Master if you're using him in PVE? So don't blindly copy any masteries. Obviously, in the game, I went support tree and I ended on Eagle Eye because we really want accuracy. Sure, the true fear can't be resisted, but the block active skills and the buff steel can. Uh, so. Uh, block revive cannot be resisted it, it, obviously they're dead they can't resist anything right uh we also really want to pick up retribution here uh, i love the idea of counterattacking and blocking active skills with deterrence i don't want to go too far with all the counterattacks because i also don't want them to be sheeped so i went with one of the two i went retribution and uh you could also if you didn't want to incur the potential of being sheeped off the retribution you could just go cycle of revenge instead all right I, I talked about the importance of sniper on this champion master hexer as well keep in mind master hexer does not work on the cc debuffs but it does work on block active skills, which is kind of a CC debuff, right? So you can extend the duration of that block active skills on the A1, which is extremely valuable. I would pick up both Sniper and Master Hexer. I also went Cycle of Magic. Okay, those are that. I went with one of my favorite builds right now in the game, Stone Skin and Pinpoint. Heck, I might even go Lightning Cage. Just to triple down on protection uh, if I had a blessing on him. So pinpoint, I went five piece, four piece will get the job done. Uh, obviously, I went with three pinpoint accessories and one pinpoint artifact, actually two. Uh, stone skin as well, right? I think stone skin's most important on this champion, so I'd put him in a four piece or heck, even a six piece stone skin if I didn't. And maybe perception, you know, like obviously accuracy is important too. Uh, so the total stats we're rocking here are going to be decent survivability here. I actually built him to be an all out uber nuker first. And then I realized even with all out nukes, I had like 300 crit damage, 100% crit rate. And I even went Helm Smasher. He still wasn't doing any damage, even with that A2 either. So I, I readjusted the build just to go tanky, right? Get a little bit more accuracy. 540 is not going to be enough for the end end game. Uh, obviously, still has utility outside of that, but uh, it will be solid. Uh, and then survivability and speed, right? So that's the build, guys. A lot of protection on this guy with the Stone Stin and the Pinpoint. I love that combo. We have defense percentage, accuracy on the chest, uh, speed on the boots. Got to get rid of that uh, attack percentage, but those are actually really good boots for some of our nuker later on, so I won't re-roll it. Uh, accuracy on the, this is a really good pinpoint uh, banner here. Speed is a little lacking, but I think the max roll, that's right, he's a six star freaking glyph on this bad boy. And then we went defense and we went HP on the ring. All right, those are the stats. That's the champion. I have a couple fun teams picked out uh, with uh, the man, the myth, the legend here. Uh, let's start on the most pay to win team that we'll be seeing 
today. Uh, we have Odin because I just pulled Odin and a lot of people uh, asking for a guide on him. My first thoughts on Odin are, or my first week's thoughts or whatever, he's insane. Uh, just an incredible champ. I got so lucky and I pulled him out of Void Charge and I have that video live. You guys want to see my reaction. Uh, he has Void Speed in Arena by 40%. It's absolutely insane. I am waiting. Anyway, I digress. So Taurus and Brishka, I just wanted to put Void Champions with the Void Aura. Uh, so this makes a lot of sense and the team is really good. All right, let's see how things play out here. I'm going to... Okay, so we have... Yeah, let's just go in there, CC everybody. And then let's... Let's Taurus kill everybody. But it looks like uh, we're going to go second here. So we can't go in there's nothing to steal right and we're not going to place a true fear because i want to save this for after taurus kills somebody so instead we're just going to go ahead and place a try to place a block active skills and we land it even with the anti or the cross affinity matchup on the only mythical on their team now we'll probably just kill everybody with taurus yeah that'll tend to happen right but let's try to find okay a trickier team is right one below so we should just start it here uh because you know Let's let Gamoran actually do something. That A1 was nifty, but, you know, <laughs> that's not why we're clicking on the video. All right, here we go. Go stand, DJ. Why are the Groffs ruining my show? So Marius does his thing. That's always annoying. It's always a threat. He got hit really hard by Sigfrin, but we're good. Uh, let's come in there and... Yeah, let's just play it out. Like, I was trying to get cute and do something I normally wouldn't do to try to buff steal and stuff like that. Oops, I should have cleansed. That was my bad. Uh, it's okay. Let's A1 on Shu Zen. We didn't land it that time. Ooh, look at look at our man here. Okay, so this is perfect, right? We actually have the, the opportunity to do something here. So they have their uh, their Reviver still standing in Siegfried. It's going to get that instant turn. Okay, perfect. Now, check this out, guys. We can get to Gamoran, and we have a dead Lady Makage. What do we want to do? We want to block her revive, and then the negligible damage to everybody as well, right? <laughs> so this is so now even if we kill uh, what's his face last, which we're still not going to try to do, right, Siegfried? Uh, because for those of you who don't know, Siegfried, if he's killed last, he'll like right now he'll do this. He'll do this. Taurus counterattacked. Uh, but look it. Revive blocked, like you guys don't know what block revive is, right? But hey, we're actually positioned pretty well here, right? Why? Well, A, our team is still standing and looking pretty good. But B, they all have block damage for two turns. Block damage for two turns. That's really annoying. So let's steal it. Look at Gamoran. No big deal. Come on. You can't tell me this guy's trash. He's all right, right? He's better than all right, Ash. He's a beast. He's a nice secret weapon. Will this dude really be a meta champion after this video? Hell no. I don't want to play with you anymore. <laughs> but could you whip him out as a surprise option? Yeah. Hell yeah. I think you could. All right. Can we actually finish this team here? Let's get yeah. Odin. Finish him. There we go. There we go. Get in there and get rid of Sacred. Thank you very much. Let's put on auto from here on out. Let Taurus clean up. Let's switch teams here. Let's switch teams. We get it, Taurus and Mariska are amazing, but you did see the utility, even block active skills, right? Like, I love how you can get something useful out of every one of this dude's abilities. All right, let's go on to the next team here, and it's going to be, oh, this is a fun one, huh? How about Georgia? I never give any love to this dude. Really fun. Uh, you'd never want to go into like a Narciss team with this squad because we have Necra on the team as well. We're also using Arbiter, so we have a little bit of speed, a little bit go second, a nice little blend here on this squad. Let's see how we do. So hopefully Arbiter doesn't get locked out because we really want that increase at the end. Of course she does. Uh, okay, we'll be okay. So let's start by attacking everybody and stealing some buffs and spreading those buffs. So you can see the, the spread buff is obviously the most recent. So, hey, pretty cool that we get block debuffs. The bad news is they're already debuffed, but hey, that's we'll take it. Uh, Georgid, really? You're one? Oh, he didn't have the increased attack. Uh, so thanks a lot, Hegemon. Uh, if he had the increased attack, this battle would be over. But alas, it's not. All right. So again, I don't want to go in. It can't be resisted, the true fear. Keep in mind but it can certainly be blocked. All right, let's go in there and pop off their Reviver. Now in this situation, who do they have here? They don't have another Reviver. So the block Revive isn't gonna be necessary, but 
Still has plenty of you. Well, he still uses it anyway. <laughs> she's like, she's not going anywhere. There is one way around. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Look at that. You see what happened there, guys? That was the passive, the soul charge. We just revived our reviver. That was perfect, right? All right, one more battle with Necret the Great and uh, Georgian. I found a really tough team here, guys. I searched high and wide. And I found a good one. We got Taurus Marichka, we got Armands, and we have uh, Arbiter. So uh, let's go in there and see if we can pop off Marichka. We can. Okay. And let's reduce turn meter. And there it is. I mean, basically, at least at this point, we have a decision to make. Do we want to block Marichka or do we want to block Armands? I think the right call is blocking Marichka. There we go. Oh, look at that. And we did kill Arbiter. Cheater, you're a cheater. Oh, guys, there we go again. Man, this guy's unstoppable. S tier. Uh, <laughs> I'm a little tongue in cheek, but come on, man. I love this is my favorite thing about Raid Shadow Legends, guys. I love getting utility out of champions that everybody thinks is trash. What about you guys? What's your favorite thing about Raid Shadow Legends? That's mine, right here. Gamoran, my favorite video of the year. All right, guys, let me switch teams one more time. Be right back. All right, guys, and the last team for the day, we've got Loki, Gamoran, uh, Sun Wukong, and Armands. I love this team because although we're lacking a natural reviver, we do have his passive, obviously, Gamoran. Uh, but not only is it fusions and like freebies or whatever, but also it is the ultimate control team. Every single one of these champions is bringing a big element of control to the to the party. So I love it. And I'm a control player. I absolutely love it. So uh, we have like an, a relentless onslaught of control here, which is fantastic. So, uh, OK. Let's go ahead and go in. Highest turn meter is going to be Siffy. So we're going to decrease that turn meter. Take Loki right back in there. Let's go in and boom, block active skills. Spread that around a little bit. Let's go back in there with Armon. Steal that turn meter. Hell yeah. Let's go in there and get rid of... Uh, well, I don't think we need to... Yeah. You know what? Let's get rid of stupid UDK. Get him out of the way with for a little bit, right? And then let's start smacking around with Sun Wu. You guys want to see Sun Wu versus Sun Wu? Boom! <laughs> there we go. So that was fun. Oh, we blocked Revive. We didn't even need it there. But hey, uh, that's really cool, right? It, we should have blocked Revive on Sun Wu, you dummy. That's where the thing is. The AI on Gamoran. Come on, bro. Like, target the monkey, bro. All right. I don't expect AI to know that, but come on. Uh, okay, let me do one more. Let me do one more. All right, guys, I found one more team here. Damn it, I should have started with this team. This team is where it's at. Now, this is fun. All right, so who do we want to target here? I want to go after Narciss. Let's decrease that turn meter. Steal that buff. Not that we needed it. Uh, let's actually go in here and get rid of stupid Odin, right? Uh, right off the, the bat. Let's go in here and... I don't know. Do we want to try to pop? Let's try to steal more steal more buffs, right? Try to neutralize Narciss the best we can here. All right. Let's go in there. And again, now the cleanse is gone. So let's block active skills there. Let's come in and steal some more buffs with the A2 ability. What do we steal? An increased attack? No, it looks like we didn't steal anything. Let's come in there and stun. And look at this control. Oh, I love it. It's fun to go in against an OP team and uh, and just wreck them, right? Okay, okay. Got to be careful of the revive there. I shouldn't be so. Uh, let's go ahead and, yeah, let's, let's block it. Let's block that revive. Hell yeah. Now all we got to do is kill this dude to get a revive back on Armands. At, oh, come on, man. Come on. All right, let's go in there and... Boom! There we go. Revive. Beautiful. Block active skills. We're dealing with a lightning cage here. Uh, so in a block debuff. So nothing. Let's just try to get rid of the uh, some lightning cage. Let's go in here and uh, same thing. It's going to be caged. 
Let's see if we can steal that. Perfect. Steal all those buffs. Oh, Loki. Loki's criminally underrated. Why is he underrated? Uh, because he was free. I, I firmly believe this. I feel like people like discount free champions in this game and and but Loki's very, very good. You know, I haven't built fast here. I think he's like 400 speed, but he's just in speed gear. It's not good speed gear. It's just like obviously it's good, but it's not like the best on the account. It's not ascended or anything like that. It's all out speed with accuracy banner, basically, right? But I feel like uh he's a champion that people can use more to like stealing that turn meter basically getting the extra turn block active skills and spreading it is a very very strong opening move uh one more team one more team all right guys i want to go out with a bang i want to end with a big one here against some mythicals uh search high and wide for a really solid team uh and we found one here so we got necra it's a very tanky team they got galathir they got mithrala they get uh alas and they got necra so again here we're going to come in uh, basically we're just going to pick on the highest turn meter which looks like it's galathir uh let's go in there and see what we can steal fantastic uh mostly everything else is protected so i'm gonna go for some uh a2 here for armands land a couple stuns get some turn meter back and then let's go in here and let's just poke the poke the bear right oh that didn't work out we should have probably poked this bear instead uh let's go in there and get rid of eh, okay not 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 let's go in here and uh block active and spread that to at least alas fantastic uh, is there anything to steal? Sure. We can steal an increased uh, defense there. Nope. Uh, okay, let's come back in here and steal some more with some Wukong. Fantastic. It's control on control on control here all the time, ladies and gentlemen. All right, let's A1. Block active skills. Uh, oops, I'm thinking of the wrong champion here. A1 over here. Block active skills on Alas. Fantastic. Really great way to neutralize those mythicals. Let's go in here again with some turn meter steel and some stuns. Petrification as well. But uh, Sun Wukong, go in there and save the day with block active skills. Ah, block active skills on uh, Galathir, hopefully, soon. Uh, the nice thing is, is hopefully this should coincide Okay, we turn one of them into a sheep. Great. Block active skills. Can we can we land it? Resist. Need more accuracy, as I mentioned before. Uh, he's not under a veil, so it can't be resisted here. So let's just go ahead and steal turn meter from someone we know we can steal from. And let's go in here with the AI. Ah, resisted, resisted. All right, let's keep poking at Alas. Uh, yep. Okay. Okay, okay. It's okay, we don't care. I mean, it's a bummer, but we're, we'll we'll uh, we'll get by. Okay. All right, here we go. It's finally our turn. Uh, let's try to take, I don't know. Can we get, okay, we got the increased accuracy there? Is that what we got? Uh, okay. Now we're cooking. Boom, boom, revive. We're gonna come in, steal turn meter. No! <sighs> All right, I have to go in and, oh! All right, perfect. Hey, newsflash, this team only has one nuker. Game over. Block revive, put it on auto. Guys, I belabored the point. I probably made this video last 22 minutes, 20 minutes too long, uh, but I think the game round's a really cool champion. Have I convinced any of you guys? And hey guys, let me know, do you have a legendary or any champion for that matter that you think is criminally underrated? Let me know in the comments below. Thank you for watching all the way till the end. And as always, take care guys.